everybody. It was amazing to see everybody out at um, the parade today. We're so excited to see everybody. And uh, just wanted to check in, see how you're doing. Good, I see some people logging on, that's great. So first of all, thank you for coming out and um, seeing the staff as they came by in their cars. It was awesome to see everyone. Um, you guys have no idea how much we've all missed it. So it was, it was really nice to see us all out and together, even from a distance, it felt really good to, to see those faces. Tomorrow we're going to embark on our journey through um, distance learning. And it is exciting, but it's a little scary to be honest. I'm a little scared. I know my teachers, your teachers are a little scared too. Um, they're ready for the challenge and they've been preparing for you. <clears throat> we are going to take things in baby steps this first week especially. Your teachers have, um, some of them have decided to work in new digital platforms that they've never used before. Um, some of you are going to have an opportunity to work online in a digital platform that you've never used before. And your parents are going to be helping and supporting um, along with your teachers. So I want you guys to remember to give yourselves some patience and some time and a little grace along the way. And that includes all of us. That's our teachers and parents and kids and even administrators. Um, I've done some technology things in the last two weeks that I've never done in my entire career. So we're all learning together. And if nothing else, um, I'm always saying that we're learning and growing um, as the Lions at Carroll Manor. So we're going to keep doing that in the coming weeks. Um, so please be patient with us as we're, we're doing those things. Some students do not have access to devices at this time, and we know that. Um, FCPS is working on getting them out. So if you um, know someone who's waiting on a device, there will be more information coming out, but there are hard copies available for pickup this week. And so students will be able to have that access as well. You do not need to do both technology and the hard, pack, hard copies. The hard copies are only for students who don't have access at this time. So let's get down to the fun stuff, which is story time. So tonight I've chosen Miss Spider's Tea Party. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen this book before or heard it, um, but I am going to show the pictures while I read. And as you listen, it's not a typical story like I usually read. Um, it's more like a poem story. So let's take a peek. One lovely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay a while with me, I'd sit them down on silken chairs and ser serve them cakes and tea. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. Three fireflies inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear. They'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Four bumblebees buzz by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swing there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take your tea. 
with anyone so spidery. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled. Her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. Some ants strode in. They numbered six, but ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them tea from hips of rose. The proud pl pl platoon turned up their nose. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider watching from the wall was not aware of them at all. The tea table was set for eight with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleaned, yet no one would arrive, it seemed. Her company in no demand left her a cup for every hand. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm in shelter from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She'd hoped to please them, but instead, they flew away in mortal dread. I'm feeling really bad for the spider. Not very many people want to come have tea with her, and she's very lonely. They've left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough and turned to see a small wet moth. A fragile thing so soaked by rain his wings too deep to fly again. She smiled and took a checkered cloth to cloak the frail and thankful moth. They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then lifting him into the, with tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. The moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there is no reason for alarm. She's never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, 11 insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Twelve tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place. Set by her chair so neatly spun, she munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see she ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew before too long, our hostess knew. Each bug who crawled or hopped or flew and all their loving children too.
So the spider's plan was never to eat anybody. Her plan was just to have some tea. So as we embark on this new adventure, let's all just stop and think about how everybody's doing, how can we help each other, and see things from other people's perspective. We're all on a journey together, and we're really, really looking forward to having an opportunity to connect in a different way this time. I know that teachers are going to be reaching out in multiple ways to you. I'm going to continue with story time on Sunday evenings at 7 o'clock, along with some other things um, in the future. So keep an eye out. We have a group of staff members who are um, working on a um, connectivity community uh uh, committee so that we can continue to connect with you guys in lots of fun and interesting ways. So keep an eye out for those things. I hope you enjoy the story and we will see you tomorrow in our first day of distance learning. Goodbye. Good night.